praise the Lord, this is 30th of June, 2.30 a.m. East African time. And there is something God has dropped in my spirit to share with you concerning uh, follow-up of the prophetic word uh, of gospel music ministry in Kenya. And this is a heads up uh, to music producers, to singers, and to church leaders. Uh, there is some, there's a scriptures that I want to stand with are Isaiah 45, 23 to 24. Isaiah 20, uh, 45, 23 to 24. Philippians, 20, uh, Philippians 2, 10 and 11. Romans 14, 11. Revelation 5, 9. And uh, let me just go over the scriptures very quickly, and then I'm going to deliver the prophetic word. And uh, I just hope that you will listen to it, judge. The Bible says, judge every word, judge every word that has been delivered prophetically. So you will judge it, you will hear it, and you will share it uh, with many other people. And uh, I believe intercessors, you have the mandate to push uh, this prophetic word and see uh, wait on God for its manifestation so that God may begin to mobilize people that are concerned uh, for the manifestation of his word. Now, Isaiah 45, 23 to 24 says, I have sworn by myself, the word is gone out of my mouth in righteousness and shall not return, that unto me every knee shall bow, Every tongue shall confess, the emphasis there being every tongue shall confess. Surely one shall say, in the Lord I have righteousness and strength. Even unto him shall men come, and all that are incensed against him shall be ashamed. In the Lord shall all the seed of, all of Israel be justified and shall glory. Philippians 2, 10, 11 says that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow of things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth, that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of the Father. Romans 14, 11 says, for as it is written, as I live, saith the Lord, every knee shall bow to me and every tongue shall confess to God. Revelation 5, 9 says, and, ev and they sang a new song saying, Thou art worthy to take the book and open the seals thereof, for thou wast slain and hast redeemed us to God by thy blood out of every kindred and tongue and people and nation. So these are the prophetic words that God released um, for 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 me to deliver to you and i believe God, you're writing down and i believe maybe you listen to this again and again so that you can get the deeper meaning and and begin to do as they as instructed by the lord it's a prophetic word that has instruction in it there's a word of wisdom there so what the devil meant for evil in that he raised up perverted sound to defile the youth and cause them to defy moral standards of old, that which are set in the scriptures, I am turning it around for good. I am sanctifying Sheng for, holy, for a holy purpose of worshipping before me, says the Lord. Let me repeat that again. What the devil meant for evil in that he raised up a perverted sound to defile the youth and cause them to defy moral standards of old, which are set in the scriptures. I am turning it around for good. I am sanctifying Sheng, Sheng language, for a holy purpose of worshipping before me, says the Lord. So, sorry, that's, uh, that's my alarm to wake up and pray. So Sheng worship and praise songs shall fill my house and many young people shall be saved and filled to worship God. Sheng worship and praise shall fill my house and many young people shall be saved and filled 
to worship God. Number three, this is the new sound that is rising unto me. This is the new sound that is rising unto me, says the Lord. Therefore, church leaders, this is an instruction. Church leaders should harness this revival and allow it to fill my house, but by doctrinal direction. By doctrinal direction. You know, young people can tend to be out of, you know, um, uh, out of direction sometimes. So by doctrine, by the word of God, uh, the, the, this music should be shaped by doctrine. Yeah, so it should not go out of doctrine because sometimes the, the, there's, a, there's a part of Sheng that has been used per, perversively, like pervertedly. And so God is dealing with that. Uh, if you notice, there are, uh, right now, there are more uh, radio stations that speak Sheng uh, for long hours. And um, there are about two or three that speak, that, that, that use Sheng, like, all through. And so God is using that. God is using that to glorify his name. And so church leaders, pastors, prophets, apostles, teachers, do not deny the young people to begin to worship God in Sheng. And, and, and um, we know most of our worship songs are in either pure Swahili or English or many, you know, our other languages of mother tongue. But God is raising up young people that are going to produce, they are going to write, they are going to formulate uh, songs, worship songs and praise songs in Sheng. And when this happens, uh, God's glory is going to move in the church. And this is going to be a, move, a new move of revival among young people. And I'm saying this because what I'm seeing in the spirit is uh, in the, in the, in the so-called ghettos, we are seeing young people coming to Christ. There is, a, there, there is a multitude of young people that God is touching through this music. It's because it is acceptable. It is a language that young people understand. And it is a language that they identify with. So God is going to use it. The devil had purposed to destroy young people's lives by perversion, fornication, drinking, alcohol, drug abuse, addictions, and all sorts of manners of, uh, manner of things and, and all uh, manner of immorality. But God is turning it around. And, and we are going to see uh, worship and praise and music that is rising up that has been founded on the doctrine, young people that are filled with the Holy Ghost, that have been founded on the doctrine of the Word of God, but they know they have the language of Sheng with them. They are going to incorporate the Word of the Lord in Sheng language, and they are going to use it to, to reach out to young people. So when pastors, you hear this, when you see that in your church, do not uh, hinder it, but seek to understand it first and then doctrinally direct it. So that is what the Spirit of God was enthusing me uh, also to release in this season. And, and also, what is also going to happen is that because the worship is going to rise, and you know worship is also a tool of warfare, where the enemy is destroyed and the powers of darkness are suppressed, we are going to see also secular artists that were that were really into this thing uh we are going to see the powers of darkness being suppressed we are going to see secular artists uh seeking god because they will this will also touch them and 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 where the devil had used them uh to perverse and uh, to to, perv to pervert the church and to pervert the young people uh god is turning it around i'm seeing a situation where uh, Saul is turning to Paul, and and the same uh, zeal that they had in propagating wickedness is is uh, God is is turning that zeal and passion uh, to serve in righteousness, in holiness, and in bringing people to Christ, and and so it's gonna be something that we are going to witness, and it's gonna be a wave. It's going to be a wave.
because uh, young people in this generation know how to make things trend. So um, uh, those who are going to fight it are going to find a very hard time with it uh, because God is in it. Whatever God is in, you cannot fight. Amen. So God bless you. Uh, share it with your friends. And God bless you so much in Jesus' name. Amen.